Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So as we edge ever closer to the new season, Matty Boy. We're getting there. We are getting there. We're starting, as we said last week, to build our bags. Um, we shared with you guys uh, a surprise addition to, to my bag with the, the Ping G430 Max yeah, driver. I love that whole video. And we got some great feedback from yeah. people going like, oh, good to see, you know, Ian. Basically, I think people said like, we know you like tireless drivers. Yep. We know you like tailing drivers. drivers. But yep, it's cool yep. that you just went, you know what? Forget all that. Sure. What's the data? And mm -hmm. the data really supported that ping. What we need to do now is carry that kind of great discovery and, and great performance improvement into the irons. Yes. And so your, your irons people will probably laugh because they know you've switched a bunch of times. They know you've been searching. And they know that you are a little bit of a connoisseur of an <laughs> of irons. Um, you've been playing, for the most part, these MC502s. Yep. In a nutshell, what... You know, they're obviously beautiful irons. Gorgeous, they feel amazing. Gorgeous. There are things you like about them. Yeah. What has led you to think these might not be what you want to play? I, I just think I'll, I'm playing for lower scores, okay. not playing for pretty golf clubs. That's and, nice. and as pretty as, as they are, which is, pretty? they don't get prettier. They do not. Um, it just was not for me through the bag mm. going to help me from a strokes gain perspective. So one thing you mentioned to me is you felt like the short irons really, really didn't have enough pop. And mm -hmm. to be fair, they're not designed to have pop. No. So you felt like you were kind of coming up short with the short irons. Yeah. Obviously, there's not going to be any forgiveness in the six. Five, four. Very it's a very tiny club. Mm -hmm. So your mind had gone to some different clubs. I know you messed around with some PXGs at one point. Yep. Pretty good. I really like them, yeah. Um, you messed around with some Strixons. Again, pretty good. Yep. Um, but you sort of had a little bit of a, a light bulb moment yeah. um, with a certain iron, um, Ping I-230s. Yes. Tell me what, like, how did you kind of find out that this was going to be the iron that you really were interested in? Well, we talk a lot uh, about the dynamics of our golf swings and the things that we individually work on. And, and you guys have seen for me that dynamic uh, lie angle uh, measurement of two degree or two to four degrees toe down yeah. has been something I've just, just had to factor into uh, reducing the curvature of the golf ball. I've had to have golf clubs that are a little bit toe down because I curve the ball quite right. a bit right to left. Right. This iron is the most neutral, um, you know, player's cavity back iron that I have ever tried. And, you know, at first, you know, you're looking at it going, well, is it the size? You know, what is it about it? What it is, Matty Boy, it's, it's a lot, and largely uh, down to this screw that is in the toe. Which is so cool. Uh, I've, I've taken every ping iron and I've taken that screw out of the, out of the, uh, the iron itself, out the head itself. It's an I-525, for example, it has a screw. It has a screw in there, G430 has the screw in there, I-59 has a screw in there. This 11 gram screw that was in the toe, uh, versus, you know, this has a four gram screw. Right. The G430 is a four gram screw. So. This, this I-230 has a little secret sauce there for mm. the people who have too much right to left and I now don't have to rely on the, the club being you know flat in order to minimize my curvature. So just so people understand, you would bend your clubs flat even though you were toe down yes. because if you bent them standard, left start line, left start line, left start line. So now you've essentially, if I'm not mistaken, with this heavier weight in the toe, is mm. this essentially a bit of a fade biased iron? It, it, it would be, it yeah. definitely, definitely would be. There's two things really that you can do, two main things that you can do to make a, a club like this more neutral. Mm. Uh, and, and one is add uh, weight to the toe, and, yep. and the other part is increase the blade length. So yeah. you've kind of got the double whammy of the longer blade length with the toe weight, mm. something that makes it really, really neutral. So what we're gonna do for a test, I think that'll be interesting, is we'll make sure this is set at standard lie angle. Yep. And important to say that's not how you would normally set it up. No. Standard lie angle with the, the 11 gram weight, which mm -hmm. comes with it, it's not like this is custom. And let's see what your ball flight patterns are yep. like. Because basically we've removed a compensation that you used to have to have. For sure. Um, you're working on your golf swing to get that nice kind of toe up slightly yeah, at impact. Yeah. I think all these things are going to work together to give you that neutral ball flight. Yeah. And then obviously you have a more forgiving iron with a little bit more pop than you previously had. Without a doubt. All this stuff, you know, put together, I actually can see why this might be like the perfect set for you. Okay, so we've got the iron set up. Yep. Um, gone a little bold to start with. So you're actually going one degree upright. Yeah. Which, as we've described before, previously would have been a big no-no. So one degree upright is going to help you get that nice flush contact. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that if anything right now, your miss is right. A little bit right, yeah. So I'm looking to try and help that start line back on. So the one degree up will help your start line. Yeah. We've got the toe weight, which will help manage the face and keep it nice and square. Um, and 28 and a half degrees aloft is where you ordered. Yeah. Love the look at that. So that's one to me, 
previously that would have, with, with the way I was playing them before, would have been hung out to the right. A lot of really cool stuff going on here. Your toe up. Yep. So that's, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal. We expect a lot of people understand why we're talking about, mm -hmm. you know, a neutral dynamic lie position. But ultimately, if we have that toe down, the face is pointed right. Yes. If we have that toe up, the face is pointed left. If I'm trying to become a neutral golfer and hit it on very straight lines, I can't have any, you know, I've got the club, I've got enough worries with it going that way, yes. open and closed. I don't need to worry about it when it's doing that way as well. Um, this is a six iron. Yeah. You get more loft in your hands. Yeah. That line goal gets even more important. Mm. You start pointing yeah, 40 right. degrees aloft, you know, way upright or way toe down. Definitely. Now you're going to miss greens all the time. Yep. Cool to see the ball. Again, start just right at target. Mm -hmm. Basically just stay there. You ended up with like a 15 footer and the toe. I mean, I've never seen you hit that combination of things. Yeah. I've seen you hit this shot with the toe a bit down. Yeah. I've never <laughs> seen you hit a basically dead straight six iron with yeah. a little bit of toe up or basically toe flush. Nearly identical, isn't it? Very similar, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't get much more similar. <laughs> I, d I love the look of that flight. Yeah, it's just so different to see you um, with such flush ground interaction mm -hmm. and that shape. I've definitely seen you hit that shape before, but you've had to make a lot of compensations. Yeah. You've I've had to do that. a lot of stuff with the equipment. Yeah. Now you basically got, you know, a one degree upright, which is a nice place for you to hit fades from. Is that fair yeah, to say? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing that people don't realize is that when we talk about hitting fades with an upright golf club, what we're saying is we want the start line to be left yeah. in order to then move it back to the right, which is if you have, it's fine hitting a fade from a, you know, a toe down position if you want it to start right. Yes. You but know, you, don't. Just, you don't. You, you don't want to push don't. fade. No. You want to basically straight or pull fade. Uh, one thing I would say is you're probably not hitting a ball that is your gamer, are you? No, I'm not playing a ball that spins as much as I would normally play. I'd like that to be, ideal number for me right now would be probably 55, okay. 56 indoors. Let's make a quick ball change because I want to show people, I think we're starting to see the performance of why you picked yeah. the irons. Let's dial it in with the ball so okay. we can see the true flight. Beautiful. You got three that landed on a towel. So switching balls, obviously, it looked like a higher flight to me right off the bat. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it was more of a bit of a different strike, but mm -hmm. we, we crept a bit more spin in there. So important to say, we don't need 6,000 spin with a six iron. No. I no. would say if you're anywhere between 5,250 and 5,750, you'd be happy. It's not a bad very, swing. Very similar. It's not quite what you wanted, but that's, again, a very nice... It's just really, really easy for you to hit a small little fade yeah it's just absolutely like kind of on repeat that had a little more spin on it too which is great yeah that's sick and that's that's what i would like to see i know it didn't fade but i mean it it was as straight as a ball almost can fly that's really nice mm -hmm. A little bit more spin again you're dynamically one degree toe up there which is great yeah your yard just have been super consistent I'm looking at, you know, a very small dispersion circle, very tight carry windows, your launch window is very tight, your spin window is ridiculously tight. Ball speeds have all been within one. And I think you're making good swings with it. That's the, that's the cool part. I mean, dynamic lie, you actually averaged half a degree toe up. Never, which never seen before. Never before seen <laughs> from you. On a TXE video. Which I love to see. And good efficiency, which I think was missing from your previous set of irons, especially with the short ones. We want to see a little bit of pop on those. So when you have that pitching wedge, yeah. you want to fly at 138, you're not coming up short. Definitely. I can see that these have the pop that you're looking for. Obviously, we just had the six iron today to kind of illustrate for you guys, but hopefully you can see why this is such a good fit for Ian. Um, my question would be, how are you going to set up the club composition through the bag? So four to wedge, four to uh, wedge. right now, yep. So the uh, four iron is going to be 22, five iron is going to be 20, uh, 25, the six iron at 28.5, and then we're gonna go up to 32.5, 36.5, 41.5, and, 41 and then we're gonna to go to 45.5. Nice, so yeah. it's, it's cool. It's like a little bit progressive. Yeah. Um, but a fairly traditional loft setup by today's standards. I yeah, by today's standards, and to be honest, absolutely could move by the time I get them and, mm. and actually get in a gapping session with it. I will literally 
gap them to how far they need to go. Yeah, you that, might move that them. loft progression is just a, a starting baseline for me. Nice. Because if, if at the time I'm still not leaning it a little bit, I might end up at 40, 4.5 in the wedge or something yeah. like that. I, I'm definitely not married to suffering, you know, for what the, a, a perfect scenario for what the loft should be. Uh, they just need to go 135. You yeah. know, then the, the 99 nine needs to go 147. Yeah. You know, so on and so forth. It's basically the same process that someone would have when they came in for a fit. Yeah. We fit you off the six iron, obviously. Yeah. We'll order the set yeah. based on what we think, but then we'll have a full session to make sure that they're gapping at the right yardage. Definitely. Maybe that's something we can do for Instagram and do a quick session, show people yeah. what you end up with. Uh, guys, honestly, if, I mean, for our friends in the South, if, if you're visiting a club champion, anyone here in Toronto that's coming to see us or Calgary, um, this is one to try. Yeah. This is, you know, I-230 is going to be one that all of our fitters across the company are going to be, uh, you know, using in, I'd call it 70% of fits this it's year. It's really cool because it's kind of snuck in there under the radar. Definitely. We know how good Titleist Irons are. Yep. Um, we know how good a lot of other companies have made, you know, a player's cavity iron. There's a yeah. lot of good ones out there, but I don't think I've ever seen one with quite the attributes that this one has. So no. I can see why you're saying that so many people might fit into this. Now, if you hit a big slice, is this your choice? Probably not. Probably not. But for a lot of other golfers, you're right, it, it'll be it'll be in the running. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So there you go. Ian has added yet another set to his collection. Eight but clubs it, down. Yeah, he's yeah. Uh, he's got that committed. Um, I do think this one will stay a little bit longer though. I can see you playing this. I, I think just based on how you're hitting those, yeah. I can see that being your 20, 23 set of irons. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the, the reasons why we've made this choice, Matty, and mm. it just all makes so much sense to me. I just... I don't feel like, you know, this flip-flopping into different clubs because really they come in, we hit some good shots and they look quite nice. Yeah. You know, there's, mo there's, there's much more, you know, thought of this in more depth at, from a playing perspective. So Definitely. excited about it. All right. He's done his testing and made his choice. So there you go. So that is the 2023 uh, set of irons for Ian. He's going to have a ping driver in the bag and a ping set of irons. Um, it's just the rest of them we have to talk about at yes. this point, don't we? TBD. TBD. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We will see you again soon.